Can you give my son Jimmy a basketball example? Hey, Jimmy. That's a fantastic idea. Basketball is actually a great way to visualize force and motion. Let's break it down. Whatever's going on, it seems like you're in a great mood. <laughs> Care to share the source of those good vibes? Yeah, no, uh, the reason I'm in a really good mood is because we were doing a presentation showcasing how useful and amazing you are. Oh, stop it. You're making me blood. <laughs> With the constant battle for AI dominance, the competition between Google's Gemini AI and OpenAI's ChatGPT is heating up in the world of artificial intelligence. Both are advanced AI systems, but they have taken different paths to get where they are today. Google's newest challenger, Gemini 1.5 Flash, steps up to face the reigning champion, OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0. But which one will claim the crown for speed, accuracy, and efficiency? Buckle up, because this is the ultimate AI showdown. Gemini 1.5 Flash vs. ChatGPT 4.0 ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI, has been widely recognized for its impressive conversational abilities and vast knowledge base. It can understand and generate human-like text, making it a popular tool for various applications. From customer service to creative writing, its success has set a high bar in the AI world, prompting many to view it as a leading conversational AI model. Meanwhile, Google has been working diligently on Gemini AI, an advanced model designed to compete with and potentially surpass ChatGPT. Unlike ChatGPT, which enjoyed immediate and widespread attention, Gemini AI took a quieter approach. Google focused on refining its capabilities, ensuring that Gemini AI could offer something unique and powerful when it finally made its debut. Now, both Google and OpenAI released new versions of their AI models. On May 14th, OpenAI unveiled ChatGPT 4.0, a new version with advanced multimodal capabilities. Just a day after OpenAI's announcement, Google released Gemini 1.5 Flash. This new version also brings exciting features and applications. The competition between Google and OpenAI is pushing both companies to continually enhance their AI models, leading to rapid advancements in more sophisticated AI capabilities. What's new with Gemini 1.5 Flash? Google's new model, Gemini Flash 1.5, is a native multimodal model, which means it can handle different types of information all at once. One of the key features of Gemini Flash 1.5 is its speed. It is built to be fast, making it very useful for real-time conversations. For example, if you are chatting with an AI and need quick answers, Gemini Flash 1.5 can provide those answers promptly. This is important for tasks where waiting too long for a response is not an option. Gemini Flash 1.5 is not just about speed. It is also designed to handle complex tasks. This means it can manage more complicated interactions and processes efficiently. Whether you need help with a detailed project or a multi-step task, this model is equipped to assist you effectively. Another significant aspect of Gemini Flash 1.5 is its ability to work with various types of media. It can understand and process images, videos, and speech in addition to text. For instance, you could use it to analyze a photo, understand spoken commands, or generate text based on a video. This makes it a very useful tool for businesses. For example, with Gemini Flash 1.5, businesses can quickly generate summaries of conversations. This means that after a meeting or a long chat, the AI can create a summary of what was discussed. This saves time for employees who no longer have to write these summaries themselves. Another useful application is creating captions for media. Whether it's a photo, video, or audio clip, Gemini Flash 1.5 can automatically generate captions. This helps make media content more accessible and easier to understand. It can also extract important data from large documents in real time. This means it can quickly find and pull out relevant information from big files helping employees work more efficiently. For instance, instead of spending hours sifting through a lengthy report, an employee can use Gemini Flash 1.5 to find the key points in minutes. In addition to being fast and impressive, Gemini Flash 1.5 is also affordable. Compared to Gemini Pro, Flash 1.5 is much cheaper. In fact, Pro is 20 times more expensive than Flash 1.5. This lower cost makes Gemini Flash 1.5 a great option for many people in businesses. It offers advanced features in high speed without a high price tag. This means more people can take advantage of its capabilities without worrying about the cost. 
It can be used in many different situations. For example, small businesses can use it to improve customer service by having real-time conversations with customers. Schools might use it to help students learn by providing quick answers and assistance with various subjects. The new model, Gemini Flash 1.5, is now available worldwide for developers to start using it in their applications. Because of this, we might soon see many new live chat apps built with Gemini Flash 1.5. One of the main benefits of Gemini Flash 1.5 is that it allows enterprises to integrate AI into their productivity tools without causing disruptions. Thanks to its real-time latency, which means it can respond very quickly, businesses can use AI to enhance their workflow seamlessly. This can help with tasks like managing emails, scheduling, and data analysis without slowing down the work process. An application of it is in project management tools where the AI can help track progress and offer suggestions in real time, making the whole process more efficient. What's new with GPT-40? GPT-40 introduces the concept of an Omni model, which means it can understand and work with text, audio, and video all at once. This is a big deal because it simplifies how we interact with AI. In the past, building voice applications involved converting speech to text, then processing that text, and finally converting it back to speech. This process often had issues with accuracy and delays, leading to less than ideal user experiences. But with GPT-40's multimodal capabilities, things have changed for the better. Now enterprises can enjoy a deeper understanding of context and user intent in real time. This means that when users interact with AI, they can expect quick and relevant responses without any noticeable delays. This not only improves the overall user experience, but also boosts operational efficiency for businesses. For example, imagine using a voice-controlled virtual assistant powered by GPT-40. You could ask it a question, show it a picture, or play a video, and it would understand and respond appropriately, all in real time. This kind of seamless interaction was difficult to achieve before GPT-40, but now it's becoming a reality. OpenAI is putting a lot of focus on making advanced AI like GPT-4 more accessible to everyone, not just paying customers, they want to democratize this level of intelligence so that even free users can benefit from it. With GPT-40, OpenAI is making improvements in quality and speed across more than 50 languages, making the AI experience better for everyone. While non-paying users will still have access to GPT-40, premium members will get even more capacity five times as much. This means they can do even more with the AI, like processing larger amounts of text or handling more complex tasks. But it's not just about language anymore. OpenAI is also bringing ChatGPT to desktops, allowing people to use it in real time across text, visual, and voice interfaces. This means you can interact with ChatGPT using different mediums, like typing, showing pictures, or speaking, making it even more versatile and useful in various situations. GPT-40 has the potential to greatly enhance virtual shopping assistance, taking personalization to a whole new level. With its advanced capabilities, GPT-40 can understand the context and intent behind buyer queries better than ever before. This means it can offer personalized recommendations in real time, making the shopping experience more tailored to each customer. Imagine you're shopping online and you ask a virtual assistant for recommendations. With GPT-40, the assistant can understand not just what you're asking for, but also why you're asking for it. It can take into account your past purchases, browsing history, and even your preferences and style. This allows it to suggest products that are more likely to resonate with you. The result is a shopping experience that feels more intuitive and personalized. Customers are more likely to find what they're looking for quickly and easily, leading to increased satisfaction and loyalty. And because the recommendations are based on real-time insights, customers are more likely to make purchases, driving up transactions for businesses. With GPT-40, call centers can revolutionize their operations by integrating advanced multimodal AI capabilities. They can automate many complex tasks that used to require human intervention, such as processing visual data or understanding agentic behaviors. By using GPT-40, call centers can achieve faster response times, lower operational costs, and better customer experiences. For example, if a customer sends a picture of a product they're having trouble with, 
GPT-40 can analyze the image and provide relevant assistance without the need for a human agent to step in. This not only saves time, but also reduces the need for human resources, leading to cost savings for the call center. The ultimate showdown between the two models. When comparing ChatGPT-40 and Gemini 1.5 Pro, it's important to understand their key differences to determine which one might better suit your needs. Both ChatGPT-40 and Gemini 1.5 Pro are native multimodal models designed for speed, allowing for real-time interaction. They are both highly capable and efficient in providing quick responses to queries. However, when it comes to reasoning ability, there seems to be a distinction. In a performance task where both models were asked to match sentences in a data set with the correct topic, GPT-40 exhibited the lowest error rate with only two mistakes. On the other hand, Gemini 1.5 Pro had one more mistake than GPT-40, indicating slightly lower performance in this aspect. So if you prioritize strong reasoning and accuracy in your AI model, GPT-40 might be the better choice for you. However, if speed is your main concern and you're willing to trade off a bit of reasoning ability, Gemini 1.5 Pro could still be a suitable option. Gemini Flash 1.5, like other models in the Gemini family, boasts an impressive 1 million token context window. This means it can hold a massive amount of information within its memory during a single conversation, which is crucial for analyzing non-text content like images and videos. In comparison, GPT-40 has a context window of 128,000 tokens, while Claude 3 has 200,000 tokens. Having a large context window is essential for tasks such as summarization, chat applications, image and video captioning, and data extraction from long documents and tables. With Gemini Flash 1.5, this capability is further enhanced, allowing for a more accurate and comprehensive analysis of complex information. In today's world, where images and videos play a significant role in communication, the ability to understand and analyze non-text content is crucial. Gemini Flash 1.5 excels in this aspect, thanks to its large context window, enabling it to process and interpret multimedia content effectively. With Gemini Flash 1.5, users can expect enhanced performance across a wide range of applications, making it a valuable tool for various industries and use cases. The advancements represented by Gemini Flash 1.5 and GPT-40 are just the beginning of what promises to be an exciting journey toward a future where AI plays an even more central role in shaping our world. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.